What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video and we got to go over Dogecoin and baby Dogecoin today. And as you can see right now with Dogecoin, we are going down right now. So we're going on this downtrend. And like I said, we we're probably going to hit this resistance and get resisted. And it actually happened where we went past the resistance when we went all the way up to 29 cents. But then right after that, we went on this downtrend that we're seeing now. And what we could do is be met again at the support line of 23 cents. So 23 cents is a major support for us right now. So if we do land back to 23 cents, we're going to have to retest that 29 cents later on inside of the Dogecoin time. But anyways, it does look pretty good right now for Dogecoin. Even though we you know, got rejected up here, at least we passed the resistance and got the 29 cents. Now the next point for us to get to will be 30 cents and then 31 cents from there. So we definitely have a lot of potential here with Dogecoin. And anyways, let's move on to this. As you can see, Dogecoin down 8.55% for the day and up 27% for the last seven days. You know, everything's kind of been dropping today. As you can see, Ethereum down 7.93% today. And we got Bitcoin down 5.36% today at $43,000. So yeah, everything's going down, not just Dogecoin. So we got Cardano down 1.69%, 9.58% for the last 24 hours but anyways everything that has been going down has been pumping for like the last week you know for like the last week and a half really everything's been pumping so it's only right that it goes down and kind of correct itself so we have to let everything you know run its course we have to let everything correct itself and run its course so then it can continue to rise in the future so anyways that's all i got for you know the technicals here so 34 billion dollars in dogecoin that's pretty good but i want to go over some of these whales because they're making big moves now remember we just now had a big drop inside dogecoin right now we're all the way down to 25 cents but people know that it's going to come right back up to that resistance you know after we probably hit our little support line here so if it's true that we come back up to our resistance it's only right that the whales come in with big money getting ready just to buy the dip left and right because they know it's going to go crazy so that's what these whales are doing this whale came in yesterday and this whale bought in 82.5 million dollars at 27 cents now that's a lot of money because look we just now dropped all the way down to 25 cents so this whale has lost a lot of money since then you know there was this whale put in 82 million has 80 million now but inside the long term they'll be doing well and this well you know they also lost a little bit because they bought in earlier today and then they sold out but see this is not what you want to do what you want to do is buy little bits at a time so as it dips you buy a little bits at a time you don't put all your money all in at once this will put in 52 million dollars all at once and in result they lost a million dollar now now they only have 51 million dollars so you really don't want to put it all in at once so anyways this will over here came in today with 27.5 million dollars now they only have 26.4 million dollars because they bought earlier today when it was 27 cents and now it's 25 cents and that's why i say you always want to be careful with this because if you're if you're not going to hold for the long term you know you might as well not throw it all in at once you just want to put it in little bits at a time and i know i keep saying that but it's because it's 100 percent true but anyways like these Dogecoin wells, they're doing this for a reason. They're buying the dip as we see. This Dogecoin well bought today, they didn't know it was going to dip that low because remember, it reached 29 cents. So they didn't think it'll go below 27, but it did, you know. But anyways, you know, 29 cents from 27 cents, that's still a dip that this Dogecoin well bought. He still bought the dip because he'd be down way more than $1 million if he bought when it was 29 cents. So he's still inside the green and he's still winning. Same with this Dogecoin whale. But to see, this Dogecoin whale was a little smarter. He came in on the 10th two days ago because he's seen this in the future. He knew Dogecoin was going to go up to 29 cents. So this Dogecoin whale came in with $25.2 million two days ago. And now they have $26.2 million. So even though Dogecoin has dropped from its peak, this Dogecoin whale invested back here because they knew it was probably going to continue to go up. Because look, when I did this video two days ago, like people, people who watch this video would know, like we went right below the, um, right below the trend line of the consolidation, but it was just a fake out. You know, they just kind of dropped out of the trend line a little bit and then whoop, went right up, right past the uh, consolidation. So that's what we seen from there. And this Dogecoin will follow that to a T. They knew this was not going to continue to go down from there. It's going to continue to go up on the uptrend because of all of this different support lines and resistance that we had. We tested that support so many times that it was inevitable that we continue to go up. Because look, we tested the support here, tested it here, tested it here. We kept retesting that support. So that shows a bullish signal, a really bullish signal. So anyways, next Dogecoin whale we got to talk about is this one. Now this one also did the same thing, came in two days ago at 25 cents. Now you're seeing a pattern here. 
at the end of the consolidation is when you want to invest. So when you see something like this consolidating, you want to put money in there. Now, yes, it could have went all the way down after the end of the consolidation like it did previously back here. At the end of this consolidation, it went down. But see, this was a downtrend. This was a downward wedge. This wasn't a uptrend or a wedge that went up. As you can see, this wedge over here is going up. And this wedge over here is going down. So even though it was consolidating back here, this wedge was a negative consolidation. So you got you to gotta pay attention to the stuff like that when you're doing these technical analysis. So when we go up on this uptrend, on this upward wedge, we know it's going to probably break out of the wedge in a, pro in a positive pattern. So that's what we've seen here, and that's what happened. And see, these Dogecoin whales, they seen that. They peeped that type of stuff. Because remember, they probably pay people to watch this type of stuff for them. With $24 million, you got enough money to pay someone to trade for you. So that you got to remember stuff like that. But anyways, this Dogecoin whale, well, they did the better strategy, which is buy little bits at a time. Even though $1 million isn't a little bit of money, to a billionaire, that's a little bit of money. So what they do, they buy $1 million here on the knife, $1 million again on a knife, $1 million on the 10th, and then so on. They keep buying little bits at a time. So that's the best strategy with Dogecoin. But anyways, let's talk about the stuff that was going on the other day. Now, Dogecoin investors look to get on the radar of AMC Chief. Now, remember, AMC said they're going to start accepting Bitcoin. But remember, AMC is kind of like a meme stock. So what, what happened? Now the meme coin is trying to get on to the meme stock. Ha. So see, now Dogecoin getting on AMC, I could see that way before Bitcoin getting on AMC. Obviously, Bitcoin will get listed on it first, but Dogecoin is going to get listed on AMC as well. So I definitely wouldn't look past that. But anyways, crypto-friendly AMC. Doge fans are cheering AMC for being a progressive company on crypto, and they are asking the CEO to think even bigger. On Twitter, users are urging Aaron to consider Dogecoin as a payment method to tooting features such as speedy and less pricey transactions in comparison to Bitcoin. So Dogecoin is said to compete or said to complete approximately 33 transactions per second versus Bitcoin's 7 TPS. So the Dogecoin community is also paying to AMC's meme stock status, considering that in the cryptocurrency industry, Dogecoin is similar fits the bill as a meme coin. So as you can see here, this is them trying to get Dogecoin or get AMC to accept Dogecoin without apes and ape accepting Dogecoin. So as you can see here, they're just trying, they're really trying to get them to accept it by putting up memes and stuff. But let's be completely honest, if they're about to accept Bitcoin, they're about to accept Dogecoin too. Because remember, AMC is kind of like a meme stock, you know. Yes, it is an actual company and it is an actual stock before all the memes, but the memes kind of overtook that. So the same thing with Dogecoin, the memes are overtaking. Dogecoin started as a meme coin, but AMC didn't start as a meme stock. But now that it is, it has to accept Doge. It has to accept Bitcoin too. But anyways... Over here, this guy, David Gokshin, remember, he is Cardano's founder. So he said, or I believe he's Cardano's founder. Yeah, Cardano's uh, CEO of P PA Coin. All right, no, he's not Cardano's founder. All right, PAC Coin. Uh, I got it mixed up there. Someone else is. But anyways, the point here is that he said that he'll spend Dogecoin before he spends Bitcoin at AMC. So that that's a big statement there coming from someone that's really big in the community. But while those coin investors look to make their way onto the radar of AMC, they have already captured the, the attention of cryptocurrency market data firm chain analysis. And that is the next thing that we're going to talk about. Chain analysis. This is huge. Running with the big dogs. Chain analysis to cover Dogecoin in its report. This is huge right here. And as you can see here, they made this announcement like a couple days ago. As per an announcement on Chain Analysis website, the leading blockchain intelligence company now includes Dogecoin in its reports and as an intelligence company you know just like how people do audits and like how certic does audits you know they are an analysis company so they make sure that we don't get hacked they make sure that they watch this type of stuff and over here this is their official statement they say chain analysis is excited to announce that we now cover the world's premier meme coin dogecoin they're literally saying the world's meme those our premier coin is dogecoin but anyways once considered nothing more than a lighthearted joke, Dogecoin has become one of the world's most popular crypto assets. Thanks in part of cheerleaders, they call him Elon Musk. Anyways, I feel like that's an insult calling Elon Musk a cheerleader. But anyways, over here. However, with such a tremendous increase in popularity, it's no surprise that the cryptocurrency is being increasingly used for criminal activity. That's where chain analysis comes in to make sure that doesn't happen. So anyways, 
Back in May, some scammers gained access to 20 verified, to verified accounts and promoted a get- giveaway from the Tesla CEO. This scam that used Elon Musk's image promised users 10x return on any cryptos they send to a given address. Literally, the fraudsters ended up ranking in over $40,000 in Dogecoin. Like, that's why we need chain analysis here. And chain analysis is here now to save Dogecoin from these scammers and hackers. So, big shout out to them. And then the last, not even the last big Dogecoin news, but for right now, it is this space Doge. Remember, buy ads to the space using Dogecoin. That's what they're doing now. So, Dogecoin has always been designed or destined for space. That's what Elon Musk said because he said he's sending it to the moon. And as you can see, now he's trying to get ads out in space for dogecoin in the like that's huge right there doge father elon musk has always made that clear when the billionaire had first tweeted about the project that was scheduled for 2022 but one thing that was not anticipated in to be in space is ads and that's dogecoin ads that are now in space a recent partnership between spacex and geometric energy corporation will see advertisers be able to place ads in space the ads will be projected from a space ad satellite that is scheduled to launch into orbit soon the satellite will feature a pixelated display screen on the side of it which is where the ads will be displayed so the exact type of satellite to be launched is a kind called the cubesat the cubesat will be loaded onto a spacex falcon 9 rocket and then release the cubesat into orbit before the rocket reaches the moon and then that's what they mean those coin going straight to the moon so anyways advertising on a cubesat anyone is able to advertise on the cubesat after our cubesat after it launches this can range from small companies to big advertisers interested parties will be able to put any illustrations or images they want to be advertised in space so literally anything you want you can advertise up there the process to get ads on the CubeSat involves buying tokens for the ads. There are five tokens made available for this project. The beta for X coordinates, rho for Y coordinates, gamma for the brightness on the CubeSat, kappa for the color, and the lastly, the XI will be for the long time. These tokens determine where the ads are placed. Also will p- help people to determine what the pixels they pick would like when projected while xi tokens will determine how long the ad will be up for i don't know it's all confusing whatever however they're gonna uh put the ads out there however they're gonna do it they're gonna do it there's gonna be ads in space aliens are gonna see your ads now you could put an ad saying come over here and adopt and abduct me be an alien and you know come to space come to earth whatever you know these aliens are probably gonna see it if there's aliens out there they're gonna see those ads so i don't know what that's gonna do for the future but just know we might have some aliens visiting Earth soon because of that. And we probably already have them on Earth, you know. But anyways, let's move on. Now, Baby Doge. I need to talk about Baby Doge coin because this does not look good. Now, the Baby Doge coin community is very strong. Mind you, it's very strong. Now, let's talk about how strong the community is before we go over how low Doge coin or Baby Doge coin is getting. Anyways, Baby Dogecoin is giving away a Tesla, a literal Tesla wrapped with a Baby Dogecoin wrap. So they're doing that. And on top of here, you have this John Wick guy, not the actual John Wick, but you know, this guy that calls himself John Wick inside the crypto space. He says that I have to say Baby Dogecoin is one of the best communities, if not the best. Everyone pulls together. Everybody loves the charity side of things. Very, very proud. Let's keep it up. And then as you can see, people that like Doge, blah, blah, blah. You know, as you can see, it's a common theme here that people love Baby Dogecoin community. The Baby Dogecoin community is the best in all of crypto, in our opinion. Look at the stats from the official Baby Doge to Facebook this week. Post from Baby Dogecoin reached 11.2 million people and had 1.43 thousand engagements this week. That's a lot of people. And then, you know, it keeps getting listed left and right. Hey, Coinbase, why are you running ads of Baby Dogecoin? Yet they don't have Baby Dogecoin on Coinbase. Yet they're running the ads on Coinbase. So that shows Coinbase likes Baby Dogecoin community and they know the community is very strong. So they're trying to pull the community in to Coinbase. But they're running ads even though they don't have Baby Dogecoin on there. So it shows Baby Dogecoin is solidified in the crypto space. Baby Dogecoin is solidified in the community space of community-based cryptos. And it's one of the top community-based cryptos. So now, Baby Dogecoin also just now passed 550,000 people holding it. Now, 550,223, you click the refresh button, 550,244. A whole of 19 people just now invested in Baby Dogecoin within the last 10 minutes of us making this video. A lot of people are putting money in the Baby Dogecoin. The reason why I'm saying so much for Baby Dogecoin right now and really big upping it is because now I'm about to talk about the truth about what's going on. 
down 670 million in market cap. Baby Dogecoin previously reached 3 million or 3 billion in market cap at its peak. 3 billion, 4 billion, somewhere around there at its peak. Now, Baby Dogecoin has been getting sold out left and right. This huge whale dropped right here. Not a huge whale, but let's just say a whale sold out a lot right there. Boom, causing a parabolic effect of boom, more selling, more selling, more selling. And then people seeing a lot of selling. So like, hey, I'll buy some. They buy. Other people see it go up. Hey, it's now I went up. Let's sell it. Boom, they sell. Then whenever you get these big candlesticks, that's usually a whale selling a large amount. So now that we got that out the way, let's go back to what I wanted to talk about at first. Baby Dogecoin down 2.2% in the last hour. Baby Dogecoin down 10% in the last 24 hours. Down 8% in the last 7 days. 12% in the last 14 days. 30% in the last 44 days. Now, mind you, everything inside of crypto is down in the last 24 hours. Every single crypto is down in the last 24 hours. And there's probably a few here and there that's not down. Obviously, the stable coins won't be down. But everything else that's not a stable coin is down, as you can see in the last 24 hours. So we'll give Baby Dogecoin a little pass here on the last 10 days. But for the last 7 days, down 8.2%. Everything else is up about 20% in the last 7 days. So what I'm saying is, Baby Dogecoin, step it up. I want to see some more gains here in Baby Dogecoin. I don't want to see it go down like this because a lot of things are like way up right now and then Baby Dogecoin is way down. So I definitely want to see Baby Dogecoin turn that around because the community is strong. So this, I'm not talking FUD about Baby Dogecoin. I'm talking directly to the community. You need to hold with them diamond hands. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But if you want Baby Dogecoin to go to the moon, you can't sell out when you see it jump. Like what I'm saying when you see it jump, when you see stuff like this, people see huge gains. So they usually sell out and you can't do that. Like people see huge gains here and then they start selling out because they made a bunch of money. But you really can't do that if you want the coin to go to the moon. But anyways, that's all I got to say. I just had to make sure I... You know, get on the Baby Dogecoin community for selling out. You know, I know not everyone out there is selling out, but there are some big time whales out there selling out. So I got to get on them. They can't be selling out like that if they wanted to go to the moon. But yeah, remember, I love Baby Dogecoin. I love Dogecoin. I love community based cryptos in general. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But if you like this video and you want to support the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe and check out the link in the description for a free stock with Robinhood and Webull. And please leave a comment, ask me. Uh, ask me anything ask me if i can do this for crypto if you want me to make another different type of crypto video you know like farm harvest finance i really like farm harvest finance and a lot of people have been talking about that so i'm probably gonna make another video on that and then fed token i'm gonna do a fed token video and also check out the link in the description for free stock with robin hood and webull and also sign up for those right now because remember you get free money those are free stocks you can literally take that money from Robin Hood and Webull and put it straight into Dogecoin, right? Not baby Dogecoin, but you can put it into Dogecoin. So definitely do that, and I'll be back with another video. Peace.